Hey guys. Guess what? We have another call. Welcome to the wonderful world of CSI. I'm still helping Grissom with the caseloads, and I need you to head out to the computer game trade show at the Spears Convention Center. We have another possible homicide. Nick Stokes will be your partner. You like Nick. Everybody does. But behind that easygoing, low-key charm of his, you'll find one of the best crime scene investigators anywhere. So, <clears throat> we have a new game. So let's head to the crime scene. And meet our partner, Nick Stokes. See what has gone down. I enjoyed my Vegas vacation, you guys. It was wonderful. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be hey, a I'm Nick. game. You into video games? Hope you like the shooting ones, because that's what we've got here. Vic took three hits. Two in the torso, one between the eyes. Also, it's uncommonly warm in here. It feels like around 90 degrees. Not normal for a showroom floor with electronics. So, let's see what we can learn. I wonder if this is trying to give us a message like, hey, you know, life imitates art. <clears throat> Don't play, you know, what do you call it? GTA and, you know, other games like that. Otherwise, someone may get shot for real. Eh. I say it's all about parenting people. I don't believe that video games and TV, well, they just play a part, but... In the end, it lies down with good parenting, not letting our televisions raise our children and, you know, educating them as early as possible about the dangers of the world. Okay, let's talk to him. Hey, looking for a hint? Uh, no, I just, oh, I guess I forgot. <laughs> Hello, this is not novice mode, ZJ. I've heard of life imitating art, but this is taking it a little too far. Can't be a coincidence that our Vic's body was found in the same posture as the guy on the poster. Okay, um, he totally stole my thing. I have never played this episode, and he totally, like, said life imitates art. And I just said life imitates art. Well, not me saying it, but, you know. Wow, what a coincidence. Okay, let's investigate. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't clear my throat too much because I am a little sick. Um, I think I'm getting something basically. A cold, sore throat. Let's move closer. Uh, let's take a M4 look at this assault gun. rifle. You can do M4 a lot of killing with this rifle. baby, but unless you're well trained with it, it's not exactly a good close range defensive weapon. Let's take that. Here we have an empty mag and chamber, and no GSR, so this puppy hasn't barked in a while. Also, its barrel has been modified. It couldn't fire real bullets if it wanted to. Hmm. <coughs> Interesting. So it looks like some model gun or something like that. Um, probably used for, uh, I'm guessing, uh, you know, a live video game con convention or whatever so that's my guess Let's take a I'm look not a medical space. examiner but this looks like a handgun shot at close range you should check for gunshot residue to be sure but I'll bet you already do that from now on I'll put any GSR samples we recover in a place where we can both access it alright let's take a thing a sample of his gunshot wound. not the right tool for this I'm always going to get the wrong tool at least once or twice in this game. Oh, so I guess we collected the powder that was in the wound. Is there anything else the I need to do? The blood pool under the victim is smudged, indicating the body was dragged to this spot, probably posed. Okay. I thought there was more I need to do on his forehead, but apparently not. So, let's get... Blood this needs Let attention sure ASAP. Is. Let's use the mobile analysis unit. Cool. We got a mobile analysis unit. Just upload the evidence to Yeah. 
yeah, I... Okay. Where's the mobile analysis unit? Do I have one? I have an assault rifle. I have a picture. I really... Oh, oh. oh, there we go. I was thinking it was a device, kind of like uh, that one game. Um, oh, I forgot that game. Condemned. But it's actually mobile, like as in ve vehicle. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the little lab over here. Trace analysis, that's fingerprints, DNA. Let's drop that baby in there. And see if we can get a match. We may not get it, we may. I'm hoping we are lucky. Otherwise, I really feel led on that in the training mode they kind of gave me a match. You know, as if I could, like, do that again. <clears throat> it doesn't look like, uh, we have anything in here. So, we traced it, but I didn't find a match. But I'm going to stop right here, because I think I'm running out of time. So, okay, still had a few minutes left. But, um, yeah, I wasn't able to do much here, so... Let's go back to the crime scene. Because I'm pretty sure there's some stuff, you know, left unlooked at. So, let's see. You know, take I'll play just poster. about any kind of video game, but I think I'll pass on this sucker. I see enough carnage on the job. Okay, so this is supposed to be the gun he has. Gutter than ever? Gut wrench three. Gutter than ever. I can't do accents very well. Huh. There's a bullet hole, I think. And is that a bullet? Hey, you got gamer's eyes yourself. A stray bullet could have a lot to say to us about exactly what went down here. Sweet. Can I investigate now? But you know what I can investigate? is uh, that gun there has to be fingerprints on here we go I'll just That's use the right whatever. tool for this okay whatever works basically I should know better I knew I should dust it I knew better than that and then get the little fingerprint Sweet. off of there Great. What a very unique uh, fingerprint. Alright. So, huh, I feel like we're missing something. Missing. Uh, oh, yeah. Gunshot wounds, apparently. Not the right tool for this. Okay. I, <laughs> I was trying to play doctor, you guys. That's not good. Alright, got another blood sample. I wanna... Well, I guess I'm done here. Uh, as far as his, uh... Ooh, looks like he's laying on something there. Oh, that's his wallet. Sweet! We got yep, his identification. Yeah, he confirms this is Stan Everston. Is there anything else? No. So, let's turn around here, look and see. Just be thorough with the crime scene. Okay, there's a witness, I guess. Maya Nguyen. Or Nguyen. It's kind of strange, because I think there was a Nancy Drew game. No, no. It's just the name sounds so familiar. But um, I'm going to cut off here because I'm running up on time. See you guys in the next video.